welcome to my very first vlog wow can't believe i'm saying that that is absolutely insane because i never thought that if i started a youtube channel it would be a vlogging channel like i kind of want to do like a story time you know because a lot of crazy things happen in my life but i decided to make it a vlog channel because crazy things happen in my life and i really want to take people with me to everything that I go through. And it's not gonna be like sad, depressed, whatever. But I am a liver transplant patient. So that means I go to the hospital a lot. I get my blood drawn every two weeks. I get my medications in all the time. I do a lot and I have procedures that I still have to do. I have things that I still have to go to to make sure that I'm okay. I have to go get my COVID vaccines before I can even be out in the world again and be able to work and attend events it's a lot but just to give you an idea of what kind of person i am who i am my name is nadia i am nadia gomez i am 18 i'm a senior in high school so i really just wanted to create this channel and kind of show people what i go through on a daily basis because as much as i tell people about it and as much as i communicate and try and talk to people about it i feel like i'm never really getting my point across and nobody can really understand me because they've never been through that However, I do want to put this out for people because I do believe that there are people that are young like me who receive transplants, whether it's your liver, your pancreas, you know, whatever it is. I believe that we kind of go through a similar process and having to deal with the aftermath of it because most people think that you get a transplant, you get a new organ, okay, you're good, you're fine. But there is so much recovering that you have to do. There's so much time that you have to literally just stop your life and find something to occupy yourself because you can't be around people and especially with the pandemic it has made it so much harder for me to be cleared for me to be considered better yes my numbers look great yes i'm keeping track of my pills and i'm making sure that i'm doing everything that i need to do to be healthy yes i am doing great but that doesn't mean i can be around people because if i were to catch something my rejection could get really bad again and it was already bad the first time so to get myself back on top of it because the lord knows i can speak forever about this i just wanted to introduce myself like i said my name is nadia if you didn't catch that i'm 18 a senior i graduate in less than 30 days holy crap just scared scared because i never thought that day would come not to say that i think i'm dumb because i'm not but it was like yesterday whenever I walked in freshman year and I was all nervous and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. This is kind of a big school, kind of scary. And I really didn't believe when people were like, hey, have fun, enjoy high school because it's going to go by quick. And now I'm here, I have less than 30 days left. And I'm like, what am I doing? Because often I stress myself out about school. I stress myself out about cheer. I stress myself out about work and I'm not really enjoying life. And now that my life was literally nearly taken from me, not by choice, I have to live my life the way that I want to. I have to live in the moment. I have to enjoy every single day that I'm given, every morning that I'm waking up, that is truly a blessing. And it's not just for me, it's for everybody out there. The fact that y'all are alive, the fact that y'all aren't you know in such serious conditions is amazing you should be happy and be, feel blessed and i'm not saying that if you don't feel that way you're ungrateful or anything i just want people to understand that life is such a blessing and it can be taken so so quick because i didn't have any symptoms i didn't realize that my body was starting to shut down i thought i was just tired you know i thought that you know with work and these long practices and competition coming up and my body was just exhausted and maybe that's why i was feeling like that but realistically that was my body giving out on me that was my body shutting down that was my body trying to tell me hey you're at the end of the rope you need to do something because something bad is happening inside of you and i didn't care to acknowledge it until literally my eyes turned like highlighter yellow according to my mom and we ended up in the emergency room and they told us i couldn't leave that was the scariest moment of my life was hearing that i probably had a week to live if that and they couldn't do anything at that emergency room, at that hospital in particularly, that would help me. All they could give me, give me was a bunch of medicines that would prevent me from getting sick. Give me a bunch of medicines that would somewhat stabilize me. It was a whole journey and it's still continuing. And I wanna share that with people. I want people to get an idea of what it's like 
to be in my shoes because these past couple months I've been really upset and I've been thinking about you know why can't I do things that other people are doing like I just turned 18 and I've already lost it but I have it I just keep telling myself that I keep comparing myself to people that don't have anything wrong with them to people that are perfectly healthy to people that have never been to the hospital I keep comparing myself to them thinking why can't I do that well, duh, Nadia, you can't do that. You just had a liver transplant. So I really want to not only share to people like how my life is and the things I go through. And even though like it seems like a lot and a lot of people feel sorry for me. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Not only to share with people, but I also want people out there to reach out to me if you're going through this. Because right now I know I have like a few friends if that that have gone through something similar or have gone through the exact same thing but my case is so different because it happened so quickly because it happened literally within a matter of two weeks you know most transplants uh patients wait years to get on the list wait years to get their donor and mine happened within three days they said hey we're gonna put you on the list one night the second night hey we got you a donor, we found a match for you. We're gonna have surgery in the morning. The next morning I had surgery. Like literally three days, anything more, I would have not been here. So I just want to kind of create a place for people who have gone through this. And this isn't just for transplant patients. This is for all hospitalized people. You know, I wanna learn more about conditions like this. I wanna learn about how this happens because even my case is still somewhat unclear we still don't know for sure that it was an autoimmune disease we still don't know if it was just hereditary we don't know if it was a supplement that i took or maybe something just wasn't good for my system and i had no idea we have no idea and i want to learn more about it and i want people to share their stories with me and i want to share my stories with people because i spent so much time in the hospital because I went through so many procedures, because I've had so many things done to me just in the last couple months. So now that I've done my rambling, I just really, I really wanted to create this channel, kind of share my life. I want people to, you know, think outside of the box. You know, you always think like, oh, that's never going to happen to me, which is definitely my mindset, because in the family, I'm the one who doesn't get sick. I don't get sick. I barely get allergies, I don't break anything, like the worst I had was a concussion. And that's crazy considering I've been cheering for almost 6-7 years now and I've only had one known concussion. So when this all happened it was like, <laughs> excuse me, pause, I didn't sign up for this and nobody does, it just happens and I kind of just want people to get a glimpse of what it's like to not be them you know i don't want to sit here and be like oh look at my life look at all these things that i have to do or all these appointments i have to go to like no i want to show the process because i feel like not enough people are educated about how long the process is and what it takes to recover from something like this what it takes to even get prepared for it because i had to do a lot of preparations before then and then after I had to prepare for my rejection because that's something that's inevitable and mine just happened to be one of the worst cases that my surgeons have ever seen it's still a lot for me to take in so this isn't just you know to give y'all a glimpse into my life this is also just for me to reflect on what's happened to me because even now there's days where i can't even understand or comprehend that this happened to me i can't even sit here and be like yep that happened and I'm okay with it. I Even now I'm still like, that couldn't have happened to me. There's no way. I was normal. I worked out. I was in love with myself. I had finally learned to love myself. Finally learned to love my body shape. I was happy with the money I was making. I was happy with the hours I was working. I was happy with the progress I was making in cheer, with the progress I was making in school. I, I really thought that this year was for me. You know, I just turned 18. I was so content with life and so happy about life and within two weeks it was just snatched from me everything snatched from me everything that i'd ever been confident about taken away from me everything that i was prideful in taken away from me and so i just want to use this almost as like 
just a journal for myself i don't like to write things down yeah i like taking notes i like taking pretty notes you know but i don't like to write down my emotions and my feelings because i can't put everything out there i'm more of a talker i like to talk and get my emotions out there and then look back on it later and understand what's going on because if i'm just writing it i'll be like no that doesn't sound good and then my real emotions don't come out so this is just kind of like a diary for me i want to look back on this later years later because i want to see what it was like i want to see how i dealt with this because even now i still have no idea how i got through all those procedures i have no idea how i got through having two surgeries instead of just the one because my body is so small having so many biopsies being hooked up to a machine for six hours just for a dose of thymo like it's absolutely insane that i'm still here that i'm still strong that i'm still surviving because i never thought of myself like that. i knew i was strong and my mom is the strongest woman i have ever known she is so strong-minded and it's insane to me that i didn't complain about any of it you know it happened and i wasn't like oh my god i don't want to do this or oh my god like i'm scared like, i broke down a few times whenever it was hitting me but every thing they told me i needed to do i was just like okay let's do it let's do it and that is something that I wouldn't expect from myself. So in the future, if I do have complications or I do meet this better place that everybody's talking about, I want to be able to look back. Right now, I'm finding it hard to deal with my schooling, which is a whole other subject because Miss Girl, they are not giving me a break. That itself is just something I'm still working through. I will definitely try and make a video on that because that is a whole other subject. That is a whole other matter <laughs> but you know i just want to find a way to get through it because right now i'm stuck in my head and i'm getting really stressed out because graduation is coming very very soon it's frustrating as you can see my life is pretty complicated it's full of a lot of stuff i have a lot of things why did i say it like that why did i say it like that as you can see, I have a lot of things going on in my brain right now. I have a lot of things happening in my life, even though I'm not allowed to go in. I'm not allowed to be around people. I still have a lot of things going on. And with this new YouTube channel coming, hopefully it's successful. If not, I'm going to have to find a good job because I've got expensive things to pay for, okay? I want to go shopping. I got to pay for my car. I want to start helping my parents pay for their bills again. Okay, I like being an independent woman. I like paying for my things, regardless whether I have somebody to do it for me or not. I enjoy paying for my things. That makes me feel good inside. So either this channel is gonna work out or it's not, but I just need some sort of way to express my thoughts and express what's going on because I think I'm gone. I'm gone, you know? <laughs>